Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Dr. Lucy and in this channel we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get treatment if you need to. We also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to just manage some minor eye difficulties. So be sure to subscribe so that we can alert you when we do upload what we try to upload every week. So today we will discuss glaucoma. Glaucoma is a silent cause of blindness. And by silent, I mean no one notices that something is going amiss until the eye gets completely damaged. And the vision is gone. It can be that dramatic. Many times patients come to the clinic and get shocked that on one of their eyes is completely blind or sees very little. So what then is glaucoma? It is a triad and by a triad I mean it is composed of three things. And that is elevated pressures in the eye. There is the nerve damage. It's called the optic nerve damage and visual field loss. So let me explain how these three things happen. So glaucoma is not just elevated eye pressures as some people may think. The raised eye pressures is the driver for whatever else are, that happens in glaucoma. Just as you go to the doctor's office to check your blood pressure, the eye also has pressures that need to be kept an optimum level. You see, we normally refer to the eye as the eyeball and it is precisely that, an eyeball. Just like any other ball, see for example a football, when the pressures in that football are too low, it will not bounce. Yet, if the pressures are too high, the ball might just burst. So it's the same thing as happens in the eye or the eyeball. The pressure that maintains the eyeball is between 11 to 21 millimeters of mercury compared to our normal pressures around 140 to over 80 millimeters of mercury on average. So if the eye pressure is either higher or lower than optimum, there is bound to be dysfunction of the eye. So let's go back to the three components of glaucoma as I've just said, and how one gets blind. First, we have raised pressures of the eye, which compresses the structures of the eye to the extent of making it so difficult to function. Remember, the space of the eye remains pretty the same volume despite the increased pressure. What this means is that the eye must work with this compressive environment and the damage of the eye starts in earnest. One of the structures most vulnerable to damage is the optic nerve. The optic nerve carries fiber-like tissues like the power cables would carry electricity then relay the messages of the eye to the brain. When these fibers get compressed, they lose the function and therefore cannot take the message to the brain. Effect on the pressures on these fibers starts outwards moving centrally, meaning that there is visual loss that starts from the sides or around moving centrally. As a result, patients will experience loss of vision from the periphery or around fast before the central vision is affected. A person can therefore have a very good vision centrally but is not able to see around them and will keep bumping onto things, onto people or around. At this point, we say that the visual fields have constricted or narrowed. In brief, these are the three components of glaucoma that is high eye pressures, optic nerve damage, and constricted visual fields. As you can see, by the time a person is really complaining of not seeing due to glaucoma, the damage is way too advanced. Unfortunately, there is no way of recognizing glaucoma because it is mainly painless with no other symptoms. Occasionally, when pressures of the eye rise suddenly to an all-time high, a person may experience a bit of pain swelling and redness. This is an exception rather than the rule. Remember, it can also affect children and the effects can even more devastating because the eye of a child is still growing. We will discuss this later. The simple way to prevent complications of glaucoma is simply to be purposeful about eye checkup for the whole family and do it annually without fail. 
So have you had your eye checkup this year? And this sums our discussion today on glaucoma and how it causes blindness. This is the first part of the glaucoma series in which we discuss how glaucoma affects eyes and eyesight and how to prevent this. To stay up to date with the latest videos, make sure you do subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button. And until next week, goodbye.